Hello, friends. Welcome to another、uh, episode of my side projects. This time I have a Siemens S7 1200 PLC connected to a little network here.、Uh, this is a very one of the low end range of new Siemens PLCs. This here is a Netgear router, wireless router. This here is a Symantec touch panel, color touch panel. I think it's a TK six nine hundred. I think oh six hundred. I forgot.、Uh, this here is a Terminator Ito Terminator rack, which a power supply communication model and sixteen in sixteen out models. This here is a Modbus CCP device, and、uh, you know Siemens uses Profinet, so.、Um, That's like the default basic network protocol that you use on Siemens, but this here is a nice function that comes built in into the、uh, programming software of Siemens DTO portal. This here are two MB、uh, client function blocks, which you set some attributes to them, like the IP address of your device. Um, request enabling, and then、um, the type if it's gonna be writing or reading from or to, and then、um, like an instance, and then a resulting、uh, after the report after the the block execution, like the done, the busy, or the error status and the error. Code, so it's really handy that you can expand out of the Profinet protocol into the Modbus. So this is this is just opening the possibilities you can use your S7 1200 PLC with. I mean, you can talk to a lot of devices. Right now, I'm just gonna find out what the IP address is of. I want to show you what the IP address. I already know them, but I'm just gonna show them to you what the IP addresses are. I'm trying to execute a Python. A Python script here. I'm gonna open a terminal window here. So I'm gonna first. I'm gonna show you what the little script is all about here. I'm trying to open my Notepad plus plus, and this is the script itself. It uses some imports from、uh, sub processes and the OS. And what I'm doing here is I am. Uh, set in a range of、uh, the last two octets of a network. So typically, if you're setting a network, you typically you use I ninety two one sixty eight. That's kind of like the default first octets, and then the rest are user defined mostly. That's very common across the industry to have this type of network. You know, I one ninety two one sixty eight. So to find what devices are connected to the network and are active. I just execute the ping. It's gonna ping every device within that range and report if it found a device. Now, if you got the last two octets, the whole range from zero to 254, with every ping <coughs> taking one second, it's gonna take 18 hours to find all devices to test every IP address within the range. So. You gotta keep that in mind, but already know what the uh, uh, range is for these two, so it's、uh, pretty much known. I got the router IP addresses, the PC IP address, and the PLC, the TIA portal, and、uh, I mean the uh, the TIA uh, panel, and、um, the ITO Terminator Malbus. TCP device, so it's already known. But I just want to show you a little piece of handy software. You can、uh, sometimes you don't know what the IP address of some devices are. You just need to get an, an overall idea what the network mask could be. So this is something you can try.、Uh, so the great thing about this is that it's just expanding, like I said. You know, you got Profinet going on between the Modbus 
I mean the uh, between the uh, TO uh, portal Doge panel and the PLC that's Profinet and between the PLC and the Mobus uh, TCP that's Mobus TCP protocol here I'm just defining the uh, request using a internal clock bit from the PLC to issue a request every half every every second uh, actually every half a second because I'm using the uh, positive flank so um, no actually one second sorry once every every second I get a toggle I get a, a, a request to the Mobus uh, TCP function block and then I write to the 16-bit model and I can read from the 16-bit um, model and right now I just got a little just a few rungs I'm using the um, OB1 organization block one kind of look uh, so the you Star Wars uh, fans don't get crazy about this but this is called operational block one which is a cyclic uh, task of the PLC uh, this is where you you call your sub uh, programs or function blocks and etc from here so uh, trying to go online here it's taking a while but I just want to show you what the uh, I don't know if you guys can see it on your screens but this is going on and off reading and writing so the read is done on the positive flank of the one hertz clock pulse and then the write is done on the negative flank of the one hertz clock and i done this by inverting a bit and then using the other bit for the right so i am uh, refreshing if you will every every second of it so i'm gonna start with the low the least order bit start to turn on all the bits in the output model from zero up to 15 or 1 to 16 whatever you want to uh, referencing to in the I'm using uh, a a marker word I think for the right is 100 1100 um, so all the bits on that word are being written into this model so it's they're being converted using that function block call so I'm toggling I'm on I'm toggling back to off all those bits. I'm just trying to use my hair and my pencil. And now I'm just gonna random toggle them. Oh, I'm getting sleepy here. Um, so this is pretty much what I've done here in my spare time. I work testing uh, a Modbus TCP device into.